Hey guys, Stripter here. Today I have a video for you about the secret to success. This is my personal secret, and I think a lot of other successful people would agree with me about the effectiveness of this secret, and this video is for you. This is not a video about me, about how good I'm doing or my life or anything. This is purely to help you improve yourself. The gameplay you're seeing right now is me playing with Strife, 3S Up, some other members of the 3S Up. These are competitive Call of Duty players. I'm just kind of pub stomping for fun. We're calling in UAVs and system hacks and murdering these people, but it's not too relevant. What is relevant is my secret to success. This is a two-step process. Step number one is that you have to try to be successful. You have to try to do something. You have to try to actively go out there and go for it. That's kind of been the gist of my videos recently. And that's the easy part. Step number two is that you have to try again after you failed. Because I can guarantee you, you're going to fail step number one several times over. And step number two is the hard part. I'm going to break it down, of course, into our two little steps here. Number one when I say you have to try, I mean you have to actively try to do something. There are a lot of reasons that people don't try to do something. There are a lot of reasons that people don't try to achieve their goals and they kind of sit home and do nothing or wait. Uh, some of these reasons are bad timing. Maybe it's a bad time of year. Maybe I feel it'll take too long. Maybe I'm not comfortable with myself right now. Today isn't a good day. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll try to make my life the way I want it tomorrow next week. Maybe I'll just get to the end of this work week hump and then, then I'll quit my job and do what I really want to do and they always just kind of put it off. Maybe it's too hard. Maybe the road ahead is scary. I know that, you know, if, if, my, if I determine my success by how I look, maybe I know if I want to get ripped that I'm going to have to work super, super hard and exercise super hard and it's just too much for me. I physically can't handle it. You are also dealing with a fear of failure. This is very, very common. It ties back into the dating thing. People are afraid of rejection. They're terrified of failing and being labeled failure or unsuccessful and this is what pushes a whole ton of people away that's a really big phobia and that's one that you just have to throw away and get rid of if you ever want to succeed in what you're doing you have to completely throw away that fear of failure because it's going to happen it's like living and being afraid of water you have to drink water to live and if you're afraid of water you've got some serious problems some other common ones I hear are that nobody will care nobody will pay attention etc etc well if part of your success plan is drawing attention to yourself you have to make them care uh, legal loopholes, paperwork, too much, too much brain power, too much words, too much stuff to fill out, too many permissions. Those are just crutches. You can go through those. Other people have done it. You can do it too. And perhaps the most crippling one, the one that catches the most people, the biggest, widest net, is too much fantasy living. I am completely guilty of this. I know you are too. We all have our little fantasy worlds. We have little stories where we're the heroes, where we're the hardworking savior, where uh, this is kind of how taxes work in the U.S. or why we uh, are very pro-business here. We always view ourselves as inconvenienced millionaires. You never just accept of where you are now. It's always like, man, I'm going to get this going and then roll this deal into this deal and in a couple of years, I'm going to be a millionaire and I'm going to go on Hollywood Boulevard and walk around and some big director is going to see me and offer me a role in the next Transformers or Batman movie and I'm gonna be super famous totally gonna do it gonna be a rapper when I grow up gonna play sports because I'm just gonna walk onto the field and die. you know it's kind of fantasy living these things aren't practical they aren't realistic but in your head they happen all the time you always end up with the hot guy or the hot girl without ever having to earn it and from there like if you were president what would you do and you can think about that all day and it's very fulfilling sort of fantasy and you can see experience the same kind of thing on TV and on the internet but ultimately it distracts you from the things you really want in your life you kind of have to shut that down be hard about it be practical about it you know if like right now if I wanted to be a pro athlete I wouldn't just assume that I'm gonna go watch a football game and they're all gonna get injured and the coach is desperately gonna have to ask me to play no I'm gonna start out by exercising that's step one that's kinda where you have to go so we got to put that away. You also have to actively work on this. Like I said, a lot of people try to do it like, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it once a week. Now you kind of got to work on it every day. Whatever it is that you want, whatever you define your success, the book you're writing, the college degree you want to get, the girl you want, your looks, your job, your money, whatever. You kind of got to work on that every day. And that's even when you're not working. You work, and then when you're not working, you're working on your real plan. You don't live to work, you work to live. You work to get that money to do whatever you want in your free time, and if your free time is a business or self-improvement or whatever, that's what you have to do, and you have to do it every day. Not every other day, not once a week, not once a month, not I'll think about it, but you gotta work on it every single day. Now that's the easy part. Let's talk about the hard part. The hard part about being successful, or any secret to success, is that you are going to fail. Whatever it is that you're thinking about doing, whatever it is I just motivated you to do, realize that at some point in this process, you're going to fail, 
the plan you set out isn't going to work. You're going to have to deviate from it. You're going to get kicked in the gut. Somebody's going to snatch the, the you know rug right out from under your feet. Something bad is going to happen, and you're going to get knocked down. You're going to get knocked down hard, and it's going to suck. It's going to suck really bad. I've been there. I've been in that suck. I know a lot of people that have been in that suck. I'm going to talk about them later on, and it's going to be brutal feeling. But truly successful people, success stories, successful things, organizations, anything, it's about getting back up and trying again. You have to try again and again and again and again and again because you're going to fail a hundred times. Guarantee you. But if you keep trying, it'll work. I'm going to talk about YouTube quite a lot for this last little bit because I've more or less been living my life in YouTube world for the last couple of years. So most of my relevant examples come from there. If you want to see a good example of this, of how step number one worked and step number two failed, go to eBay right now. Just pause this video, go to eBay, type in like an Elgato capture card, type in a Hop Hog HD PVR, type in a scuff controller, any of these kind of products that I typically, you know, sell or deal with on my channel, especially the ones for content creation. And what you'll find is a graveyard of broken dreams of people people that bought capture cards that thought that they were going to be the next super famous commentator did it for a couple of days a couple of weeks it didn't work and they gave up they quit they failed and then they're done it's like it didn't work the first time it's done I'm out that's about 99% of people and I'm not even being judgmental I'm not saying there's elite classes of people that are born to be successful and never quit it's just a learned thing it's a habit that some people pick up and others don't but you will find tons of people that have more or less failed on YouTube to some extent their channel didn't grow it didn't get as big as it wants etc I mean I'm comfortable happy where I am but of course I want to be bigger and more famous than the next guy but they don't really fail until they give up and don't try again they never failed YouTube by not having a ton of subscribers they didn't fail YouTube because their video had a rendering error they failed because they said screw it I quit I give up I'm going home and that's never the attitude and I'm actually going to talk about some semi-famous youtubers now I'm not going to use their names because that's not polite but I'm going to talk about some friends of mine some people I know and give examples of their stories and how they failed colossally but kept going I know a guy who's doing very very well for himself right now he started off doing Call of Duty content tried really hard love Call of Duty still loves Call of Duty couldn't get anything going with it man nobody cared nobody liked it he wasn't able to compete and he just kept trying then he tried another I have to keep the details kind of vague tried a different game and a different strategy different site just like completely upended his entire st no longer making videos different game and everything and he found a niche that worked and he worked on it and he worked on it and he worked on it and then we failed again had some problems kept working on it now is super successful different person again used to be a really popular super famous Call of Duty commentary type guy I know they failed hard they came on really hard times I know them personally I know how hard the hard times were and how bad it got and how they were pinching pennies and you know cutting corners and just trying to make ends meet and get through but he refused to quit he said this is the best job in the world the best thing I've ever had I love it if as long as I can pay my own way living I'm gonna keep doing this I'm not gonna give up tried a hundred different things failed 99 of them found one thing that caught that hit that worked kept rolling with it man's doing better than he ever has in, in his entire life is super happy now you know a different person who started doing the commentary thing like pretty recently and I've, I, you know I'm more established and they're kind of like down here and I know they were having some hard times they were thinking about quitting they didn't quit they stuck through now like pfft, they blew up and eclipsed me I just like okay whatever a uh, different person used to do PC now they moved to console more successful console to PC so many of these people that you know again I'm not gonna name names because that's not polite but so many of these super famous like commentator type guys that you think were just born and just earned it and it just magically happened no they they worked for it and they failed and they fell into the pit of suck and they sucked for a long time and they worked their way out just tooth and bone and it worked out really well for them and that's the same thing for you same thing for college I knew a guy in engineering school I got my degree in engineering guy was not brilliant he was actually slightly less than average intelligence but he worked super hard it would take me you know like three hours to do homework it'd take him six but he would do it and he would do it meticulously carefully slowly he ended up with better grades than me not because I'm not trying to be rude to him not because he was a super smart guy you know actual intelligence levels I'm probably a little bit higher than him but he worked twice as hard as I did and it paid off for him if you put in the work if you put in the work after you fail, after it breaks, after it all falls down, you will succeed eventually. And that is the defining characteristic of any successful person is that they do not give up no matter what. A different way to look at it is if your goal was so easy that you did it perfectly right the first time and everything always worked, probably isn't a very worthy goal. Any worthy goal is going to be difficult, it's going to be hard, and you're going to struggle along the way. If you're not struggling, you're probably not doing something entirely right. You need to go back and check your work. Or another way to look at it is, 
everybody can do step one that I talked about. Everybody can get hyped up on this video, get motivated, get out there and try and do it. And we're going to buy our gym equipment and capture cards and books and whatever it is that we're going to be working on. And we're going to do it. Not everybody is able to stick with it in week three, four, five, six, year number two, after they failed again and again and again, after they've struggled, after it's all crumbled, after they've been hit by a car or whatever happened. Not everybody does that. The true success comes from picking up, learning from your failures, and trying again and not giving up. And if I can encourage you to do anything over the course of this entire commentary, it's don't give up. If Whatever goal it is that you have in your entire life, don't give up keep working on it. If you fail, learn from it, move on, and try again, and I promise you, you will eventually be successful. Guys, that's all for this commentary. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something useful. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out.